Everyone is talking AI, otherwise known as artificial intelligence. AI is the cornerstone that will drive the food industry into the next generation. The data driven by AI gives us the insight to know when to water our crops or when animals are sick. It helps us to know how manufacturing plants operate, if plant employees follow procedures, and if processing equipment is clean. It enables us to sort food, meet safety regulations, enhance sustainability, and improve the supply chain. I think probably most profound for the commerce part of it is with supply chain. It's literally being able to track products once they're produced from the time of production all the way through to the shelf. Besides the introduction of technology to digitize the supply chain from farm to shelf, there are some interesting technologies that are uh, contenders for transforming the last mile of delivery of food. Uh, that's a, that has to do a lot with how consumers interact with products. AI alerts us to spoilage, traceability, and how a consumer interacts with a product. The supply chain is a means of a due diligence between the relationships of uh, purchasers and suppliers and uh, the people that are producing the food. As a matter of fact, data driven from AI can help you do your job better, but you need to know how to harness it. Start by understanding artificial intelligence. Let's define the core components related to it. Robots are the physical hardware. They are the machines that do the work and improve the efficiency of the processes, while AI is the data or the intelligence that tells the machine what to do. Artificial intelligence is when a machine is using a set of instructions or a set of an algorithm in order to make a decision without human input. Artificial intelligence is going to help uh, fundamentally in things of interpreting the information and understanding it. Artificial intelligence is iterative. It collects data over time, and that data becomes more meaningful because of the aggregation of the complexity of the data that can actually be um, put together and put to use. The Internet of Things is all about collecting the data, and the artificial intelligence becomes all about the quality and the interpretation of that data. And it's true that computers can process data faster than they could previously, this is a fact, but that doesn't mean that all data and all data processing is created equal. There is good quality data and bad quality data. Building on this concept, collecting data and not using it is not very helpful. The data for the AI must fulfill a specific need. It must serve a purpose for your operation. Think safety customer preferences, sustainability, regulations, or whatever it may be. This is where machine learning comes in. Machine learning studies previous data sets and makes predictions for future data sets. The machine learning is computers making decisions based on situations that they've never seen before. Machine learning is when you can take a whole bunch of data and uh, give it to a computer that has an algorithm, and then that algorithm will learn from that data. Uh, machine learning is any form of statistical knowledge gain. It's the ability to have an algorithm that learns something about its inputs in order to predict its outputs. And to be truly to be machine learning, uh, it has to get better over time. It has to generalize and adapt based on the data that's coming in and the results that it gets. So machine learning as a tool is going to become more and more important as we collect more and more data. Uh, it's simply too much to just put it into a database and generate um, old-fashioned old -fashioned reports about the food. The time is now for AI and machine learning in the food industry. It has been estimated that AI revenues will grow to $127 billion by 2025. There is no question that AI's impact on the broader economy is hard to quantify, although PwC estimates that it could contribute to almost $16 trillion to the global economy by 2030. In some ways, you hear people talking about how AI is going to take jobs and it's going to destroy industries. Um, but people should view that 
um, both you know, as, as a, uh, a near-term danger and a long-term promise. Well, I think in the AI side, the biggest opportunity is productivity. We see AI having a positive impact on the food industry, specifically in farming. Artificial intelligence is being used in the food industry in all kinds of ways. Uh, one way is um, predicting the optimal um, growth parameters uh, for, for foods, specific foods. Uh, vertical farming is actually making uh, quite a number of uh, inroads in this because they can capture uh, all kinds of data. When you are using artificial intelligence, IoT, and other techniques to develop this kind of uh, predictive models, that would tell you um, exactly how much water would be necessary at what location and at what time. A really great example of how we integrate AI in terms of thinking about the plants, uh, we're doing things with spectral imaging. We're looking at the health and the quality of the plants. AI is also going to help gather the data necessary to change the flavors of our food in the future. AI helps us create new food profiles without actually having to create them. We can experiment um, creating these profiles based on the different qualities, different properties of, of ingredients and, and how they apply to different recipes. So without having to actually create one, AI is able to ex help us experiment. Uh, so I call it experiment without experimentation. Artificial intelligence is to gather data and make decisions about flavor choices and selections. At the end of the day, machines will soon talk to each other, spilling out data sets that will help create a more efficient and streamlined approach to commerce. This involves augmented agriculture with automated data collection, decision making and corrective actions via robotics to allow early detection of crop diseases, to provide planned nutrition to livestock, and to optimize inputs and outputs based on supply and demand. The end result is designed to increase the resources and efficiency of the agriculture industry, reducing water usage, fertilizers, and pesticides, which actually can contaminate ecosystems, or by those that might be resistant to even climate extremes. It will continue to evolve over time. Some even predict it will be one day will actually control every part of the food supply chain from actually A to Z. Stay tuned, there is so much more to come.